I'm trying to think outside the box. I did fun records like for some pussy. You heard you got the yeah, 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 yeah. So I did for some pussy like records. People wouldn't be like, oh, it's not a Saigon song, but it's just fun. I don't want to. I don't. People. One thing I got a problem. People always think I'm this mad serious rapper who's yeah. always militant, but I, yeah. I have fun just like everybody else. Yeah. Um. words and then you use kind of like like kind of like schoolyard slang like yeah. dumb dumb some shit like that um, <laughs> yeah who taught you to rap like that um, i just been doing it so long man. i've been yeah. rapping I've been rapping just for fun the majority you know so then as a professional mm -hmm. for so long you know you study your craft and you hone your skills and then you know you take little parts of everything my vocabulary got a little bit enhanced in prison reading books and yeah. so i like my cap, my vocabulary went up. So from that point on, it was just like I just incorporated everything into, to when I sit down and approach, approach hip hop, yeah. approach song. So, uh, we got, I gotta ask, uh, what's the status with a greatest story never told? It's done, man. It's, it's done. Glad. It's, it's a phenomenal record, man. Yeah. We're just trying. To, I'm just trying to give it a fair chance, the chance it deserves mm -hmm. because. I could have been put it out, but it, would, it wouldn't have had no marketing push behind it. Yeah, yeah. Had, you know, I found the MySpace, the blogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And me, and me and Just put so much work into that shit. I just don't want to throw it out. And I wanted to give it a look that I think it deserved. How's it not leaked yet? Because it's been around so long. I know it's been yeah, done for a while. Yeah, because we, we the only people that got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we, we never gave it to nobody. Mm -hmm. Anybody who heard it came to the studio. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, so we, it's, it's Fort Knox for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> You gonna have to break, you gonna have to kill one of us to get that that yeah. project right there. Yeah, I saw, uh, I think I saw a track listing for it, and you doing a song with Devin the Dude. Yeah, we do. We do. Tell us a little something about that. That's my yeah, favorite called, artist. It's, um, it's called What the Lovers Do, mm -hmm. and it's about this girl's. This girl's a young girl. I'm dating a younger girl. Not, not. She's legal. But she's young. Yeah. And she's, she's never took it there yet. And I'm trying to convince her to put out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Devin makes some sex songs. He's yeah. Good the sex songs. He makes know. it okay though. Yeah, yeah. He it's makes it cool. So collaboration he did was like with Dead Press. Yeah, yeah uh, Dead Press. We did. Did um, with Billy Hood. Yeah. yeah. And Stickman is one of my favorites mm -hmm. rappers in the world. Yeah. Super talent. Don't get the credit he deserves. I'm on a roots album. Album, you know, the last album on the song, you know, Criminal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I, got, I got a chance, and Black Thought is one of my favorites. So I work with Jay Z, Thought, you know, Stickman. So far as features go, man, I, I never do another feature in my life. Yeah, I got bust it. my feature nut already because I work with the, the greatest Kooji rap. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I, I got two more to get, man. Rock him and, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, KRS1. Yeah. I'm done. Shit. I want to do a remix to Come Again. I want to <laughs> do a Come Again over now with KRS1. Wow, that'd be insane. I think that'd be crazy yeah. right there, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's good at that, you know, the, the reggae flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, adding the reggae flavor to his joint. Mm -hmm. What's your what's your favorite track on there at the moment? Fatherhood by far. Fatherhood, yeah. yeah. That shit. Because it's so personal to me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's, it's, it's an ode to my child, and she'll be able to go back and look at it for yeah. something. Even more than that, like musically, it's just yeah. it's sick. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. This doesn't like, really follow any format. Like, yeah, you know, I just did me on there. Yeah. Like, I like all around the world too, cause mm -hmm. it's a different kind of um, record mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's more That's of an alphabetical song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> could let her pee back, but I just did it with girls. Yeah, and, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. I try to be creative at the same time, and and, and I like the song with Ransom and Quan, cause it's got the um, New York feel to it. Speaking of Ransom, um, don't you think that like reignite beef with Button at all, or whatever? Yeah, fuck Button, man. <laughs> that dude, man. That dude is clown. Like everybody's thinking. About Joe Budden right now, mm -hmm. like that dude, that dude, man. He really, I, I'm embarrassed that I let this guy take me out of my zone for them little few weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't my thing. Like I've been in this game too long, and that's his alley. He, he does that on yeah. purpose. I was actually, and, I was kind of confused when you did that too. I was yeah, like, I was confused on myself. <laughs> but I got, I got to get a grip because it's like somebody keeps poking at you with a stick. You're gonna, you're gonna strike back, and yeah. then I'm like. I'm playing his game, you know what I'm saying? So he's really right now thinking he's outsmarting me. 
But my whole plan was just punch his head off. I'm glad somebody got a chance to do it because he deserved it. Yeah. What you think of that that whole situation? I mean, he deserved it, man. Yeah. He he, he kind of ignited that. But you don't invite another man to your dick. You don't say hey, anybody don't like you can suck my dick. Come yeah. on, man. That's, people take that where I come from, and that's fighting words. Yeah. You gotta be ready to back that kind of shit up on site. You know what I'm saying? So he's a he's a very talented artist, but I just think this, you know, some of the decisions he makes is gonna get him hurt. I don't got no problem with the dude. I just, I was just mad that I'm more mad at myself for entertaining that cat than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because that ain't my, I'm, uh, that ain't my thing. Like to me, battle rapping is like playing the dozens or ranking. Like I'm a grown ass man. What do I look like going back? Yo, your mother's so fat. She did it. It's like that. You, you might as well go on your mama on MTV if you want to make jokes and go back and forth. Like this is, this is music. Like we have the opportunity to touch millions of people. And you want to just sit here and try to write insults and shit down about somebody? That's the shit is stupid to me. Yeah. Uh, you have a feature with OJ the Juice Man. It's definitely going to turn some heads. Um, you speak on that? Like, is it because y'all both like saying I so much? That's what I see. It, it was more so fun, a fun record. You know, I did the record. I did the I produced the record. You know, mm-hmm. and so when I was doing it, it was like plus some plus a. I'm like, cause the whole the whole record comes with a contest. Like I really want to do an online contest with the craziest thing you ever did to get to a girl. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So to, to make people feel like they're part of the, the, the movement. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause that'd be interesting, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause I I know a lot of I've done crazy things myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, and, and I was like, damn, who was Sam hot on this? And me and OJ always spoke because he was on the mixtapes for a long time in Atlanta. And we always talked about doing a record. So I, I reached out to him and he liked the record a lot. And, you know, when he got on the record, and I was like, cool, this is what's up. Because when you do shows in other regions, sometimes people want to have fun. Everybody don't want to hear pain in my life all the time. People are like, damn, we got pain in our life when we go home from here. So <laughs> right now, could we have some fun right now? So I want to be able to give the people something different. And plus, I think I think hip hop is being ruled by the girls right now. Females are determining who's hot, what songs go. So I, that's a song for the dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like for some bussy. So yeah. when I perform a song live, you, we know it ain't for the girls. It's for the guys who came. Cause the majority of them came here tonight for some pussy. You know what I'm saying? So I just did a song that's not on one of shots for True Life. You know that's that's a good friend of mine. Yeah. And he's a uh, um, he's in the jam. He's in prison right now. It's a shame. Facing some time for something he didn't do. Mm-hmm. You got probably the worst charge you could ever get, man, because it's like, you know, capital murder charge when you, you, you innocent. And I know he's innocent, so that, I, that's a situation I would never want to be in. And, you know, I just don't want people to forget him and I want people to support him and, and rally behind him because yeah. when you get the people behind you, you know, they got to they gotta treat you more fairly. You know? mm-hmm. and nobody wants to see an innocent man go to jail. Forget yeah. how much you like him or not, your, pers- your personal issues or whatever, put it aside and just, you wouldn't want to see one of your friends or family members go to prison for something they didn't do. You know, so or none of us would want that. So. Especially when they're like, they were on their way to doing positive things. Yeah, he's a positive person, man. And, and, and it's just the imagery that he got. People think like he's a goon or he's just some troublemaker when that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. And me and him, you know, his name stands for the righteous uniting people living in a fancy environment. Wow. True life, you know what I'm saying? And people just look at him and go, oh, because because his dip set is beef with mom deep, and they just see one aspect of it. And that's what I hate about hip hop fans. They, they're so fickle, you know what I mean? They, yeah, yeah. they don't look at you as a person in totality. They just look at the internet and say, oh, this, and then they run with it like this is the kind of person you are. Yeah. They did it to me, or they do it to me a lot, so. What's good with the uh, Abandoned Nation label? Like, Abandoned guys... Nation's popping, man. Yeah. We, it's more of a non-profit. We do, we work with the kids, man. But that's that's starting to flourish more than anything, man. Mm-hmm. Book Bank Foundation with Glenn Toby. You know what I mean? These kids, these kids are amazing, man. Seeing these kids really, really change their lives around before they end up in, in prison or in a group home or in DFY. And, you know, you feel like, yo, you, you help 30, 40 kids, man. You change. These kids might end up being the same one to snatch your mother's person. She falls and hit her head and dies or something like that or, or, or do something crazy. So, you know, I feel like it's the adverse effect and the collateral effect that, that we really prosper from by saving these kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you helping them, you helping yourself, basically. Yeah, helping every a lot of people around me because it could be a kid to run up to you with a gun and go give me your money and you go 
and then he shoots you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It might be the same kid we snatched up because these are at risk kids. These are the kids that's going to become the future murderers and killers and stick up kids if we don't save them now. No guidance. Yeah. Exactly. So we right. try to provide that guidance for them. True. Uh, 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 uh,